Some people might think of a cover crop as an expense. I look at it as an investment. We get less than six inches annual precipitation, so we are a desert here. We are fortunate because we get a lot of snow to the west of us. That's what provides us our irrigation water. So we are, are irrigated here. Without irrigation, we would not be farming here. If we can take care of the soil in the rotational year, we have better soil that we're planting the potatoes into, and, and the water acts differently with that healthier soil in the potato crop now. Uh, we have a better infiltration rate because we have good aggregation, and we have a higher water holding capacity because we've been able to bank more carbon in our soil. And so we have seen that increase in our, in our organic matter, and, and we see all these benefits from investing in our soil. For us, the cover crop is actually coming in in place of another higher water consuming catch crop. So that's more of the conversation we, we have to have in this area. So it's actually an easier sell in this area because we have meters on our pivots and we can show, you know, this barley catch crop took this much water, cover crop took this much water. So, I mean, it's just, it, it's black and white on, on paper. So it, it's a little different conversation than you might have in some of these dry land areas as far as it comes to the cover crops. But we also, we're high altitude. We're 7,600 feet right here. And it, we have a very short growing season. Now the climate's very nice for growing potatoes. We have warm days without getting too hot, but we also get very cool at night still. So ideal for growing potatoes, but we are just very short growing season in between the frost on the early and the late frost. And so we have a window for growing potatoes, but we really don't have any opportunities before or after that, that potato crop for growing cover crops. So whenever we bring in a cover crop, it has to be in as part of the rotation. It, yeah, we can't do it in, in the same time frame as the potatoes which is part of the reason why I've brought in companion crops into the potatoes. Since I can't do some of these crops before or after, let's do it during the cash crop. Let's integrate the two and get all these benefits during that small window.